Ezra Revi E for Ezra twelve. And it came to pass, while the lion spoke these words unto the eagle, I saw, and behold, the head that remained and the four wings appeared no more. And the two went unto it, and set themselves up to reign. And their kingdom was small, and full of uproar. And I saw, and behold, they appeared no more. And the whole body of the eagle was burnt, so that the earth was in great fear. Then awakened I out of the trouble and trance of my mind, and from great fear, and said unto my Ruach, Lo, this have you done unto me, in that you search out the ways of El Elyan. Lo, yet am I weary in my mind, and very weak in my Ruach, and little strength is there in me, for the great fear wherewith I was afflicted this night. Therefore will I now beseech El Elyan, that he will comfort me, unto the de rather unto the end and i said yahuwah adonai if i have found grace before your sight and if i am justified with you before many others and if my prayer indeed come up before your face comfort me then and show me your servant the interpretation and plain difference of this fearful vision that you may perfectly comfort my soul. For you have judged me worthy to show me the last times. And he said unto me, This is the interpretation of the vision. The eagle whom you saw come up from the sea is the kingdom which was seen in the vision of your brother, Daniel. But it was not expounded unto him. Therefore now I declare it unto you. Behold, the days will come that there shall rise up a kingdom upon earth, and it shall be feared above all the kingdoms that were before it. In the same shall twelve kings reign, one after another, whereof the second shall begin to reign, and shall have more time than any of the twelve. And this do the twelve wings signify, which you saw. As for the voice which you heard speak, and that you saw not to go out from the heads, but from the midst of the body thereof, this is the interpretation, that after the time of that kingdom there shall arise great strivings, and it shall stand in peril of falling, rather failing. Nevertheless it shall not then fall, but shall be restored again to his beginning. And whereas you saw the eight small under feathers sticking to her wings, this is the interpretation, that in him there shall arise eight wings, whose times shall be but small, and, and their years swift. And two of them shall perish, the middle time approaching, four shall be kept until their end begin to approach, but two shall be kept unto the end. And whereas you saw three heads resting, this is the interpretation. In the last days shall El Elyan raise up three kingdoms and renew many things therein, and they shall have the dominion of the earth. And of those that dwell therein, with much oppression, above all those that were before them, Therefore are they called the heads of the eagle. For these are they that shall accomplish his wickedness and that shall finish his last end. And whereas you saw that the great head appeared no more, it signifies that one of them shall die upon his bed and yet with pain. For the two that remain shall be slain with the sword. For the sword of the one shall devour the other, but at the last shall he fall through the sword himself. And whereas you saw two feathers under the wings passing over the head that is on the right side, it signifies that these are they whom El Elyan has kept 
unto their end. This is the small kingdom, and full of trouble, as you saw. And the lion, whom you saw rising up out of the wood, and roaring, and speaking to the eagle, and rebuking her for her unrighteousness, with all the words which you have heard. This is the anointed which Elelian has kept for them, and for their wickedness unto the end. He shall reprove them, and shall upbraid them with their cruelty. For he shall set them before him alive in judgment, and shall rebuke them, and correct them. For the rest of my people shall he deliver with mercy those that have been pressed upon my borders, and he shall make them joyful until the coming of the day of judgment. Where have I have spoken unto you from the beginning? This is the dream that you saw, and these are the interpretations. You only have been met, rather meet, to know this secret of El Elyan. Therefore write all these things that you have seen in a sefer, and hide them, and teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts you know may comprehend and keep these secrets. But wait here yourself yet seven days more, that it may be showed you whatsoever it pleases El Elyan to declare unto you. And with that he went his way. And it came to pass, when all the people saw that the seven days were past, and I did not come again into the city, they gathered them all together from the least unto the greatest, and came unto me and said, What have we offended you? And what evil have we done against you, that you forsake us and sit here in this place? For of all the prophets you only are left us, as a cluster of the vintage, and as a candle in a dark place, and as a haven or ship preserved from the tempest. Are not the evils which are come to us sufficient? If you shall forsake us, how much better had it been for us if we also had been burned in the midst of Sion? For we are not better than they that died there. And they wept with a loud voice. Then answered I them and said, Be of good comfort, O Yashadael, and be not heavy, you house of Yaakov. For El Elyan has you in remembrance, and El has not forgotten you in temptation. As for me, I have not forsaken you, neither am I departed from you, but am come into this place to pray for the desolation of Sion, and that I might seek mercy for the low estate of your sanctuary. And now go your way home, every man, and after these days will I come unto you. So the people went their way into the city, like as I commanded them. But... I remained still in the field seven days, as the angel commanded me, and did eat only in those days of the flowers of the field, and had my meat of the herbs. <laughs>